Boom. Alright, so um, the problem we've been having with this Q7, it's a 2014. You go to start the car and it wouldn't want to start. Touch the gas pedal, the car would fire right up. So, a friend of mine told me to smell the oil. The oil smells a little bit like fuel. Your high pressure fuel pump is bad. It's resistant. So we are going to change. I think we got this off of eBay for like 160 bucks. You can see the casting on it. Not the best. But it's from fucking China. Um, I mean, if it fails, we'll end up getting a, getting one from Audi for like $3,000. But I'm going to try the $160 one first. So, it's my first time changing one. I've never changed one. Um, but here it is right here. And um, we're going to change it. And then we're going to, it's recommended that you change the oil after you change it. I don't think this one is that bad, but it's bad enough to make it kind of start funny sometimes. Doesn't do it all the time, just sometimes. gonna need this little uh I'm gonna see if this one works this is a t50 there's two uh screws there's one here and then there's one on the other side the other side looks like it might be a little bit of a bitch but we'll get it Let's see if it turns Try not to strip it. Oh, there we go. There we go, strip. There's also a spring in here, so I don't know if it's gonna shoot out, hit Crystal in her eye while she's holding the camera. <laughs>
try to get back in. Yeah, look at that cast. You see the way the, the metal is on here compared to this one? It's that Chinese shit for you. So let's hope it works. So this fell out of the, uh, the engine. This rolls on the cam. The cam pumps this fuel pump. And uh, when you put it back in, make sure you put the roller part in like so. All right, you can see where that old one, it, sat, it sits on it like this, all right? Now you, now you want to keep spinning it until it goes all the way up in there. If it doesn't go all the way up in there, you didn't do it right. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, uh. So we want to put some force on this thing, try to get one of these bolts started. All you need to do is get this first one started and it will uh, compress that spring. Boom. And then you can work on the other one. The other one is the problem, that's the nightmare. All right, so I didn't notice that there's a, um, apparently there's a plug in there that I didn't put in. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to somehow get that out of there. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so this thing comes out. Now, Audi was some great engineering marvels for making something that screwed with no head. That was fun to try and get out, to try to bite down on to get out. Oh, Audi. <laughs> well, you guys uh, know how to make these jobs so easy. All right. Probably should put some thread tape on it, but I'm going to see if it will not leak without it because that one did not have any. Ooh, that is awkward. 
awkward. And it having fuel on it is not helping. So, this is the part that always makes me more nervous than the horn church, and that is starting it up. I'm not a mechanic, I'm just a nigga to know how to fix shit. So, before you leave them comments about how I should have done it, I'm gonna keep it. That's it. So that's how you do it. 2014 Audi Q7 supercharged. If you're uh, having issues starting it sometimes when it's cold, um, that's basically saying it has no fuel pressure. So there's like air in the line or something. Nine times out of 10, it's this little part right here, which is a fuel pressure pump. Um, not high pressure hard, fuel pump. High pressure fuel pump, not hard to change. And um, hit that like button and uh, subscribe. Zippity doo dah. Whoa.